Lethargic Sloth here, and today I will be reviewing Denmark. Denmark will be represented at Eurovision 2017 by Anja Nissen with the song Where I Am. If I had to describe this song in one word, I wouldn't be able to. I can only describe it in two words, fire and ice. I'll explain. There are many good things about this song. The song has tons of attitude. I describe it as fire and ice because the song starts cool, heats up, goes back down, and then the fire rages on. It starts slow and it has an incredibly strong finish. I love the dynamic, starting slow and sweet, building up, going back down, and then just exploding at the finish. I know, if you think about what I just said, it makes it sound kind of dirty, but that wasn't my intention. It's just the flow of the song. Anya Nissen has a powerhouse of a voice. So far, she is my favorite female voice. I cannot believe how strong her voice is. While I love Belgium's entry, I worry about how Blanche's voice will carry on the big stage. Of course, I will discuss that later in my future review of Belgium. Anya, however, will have no such problem on the big stage. People comment about how she won the voice in Australia. True, her parents were Danish immigrants to Australia, but she is ethnically Danish and now lives there. But people love to tear down songs for any reason they fit their agenda, why their favorite song is better than your favorite songs or that reality show contestants should not be in Eurovision. Now, I don't have a problem with this, but some bring it up, so I mention it more for entertainment than anything. I'll also bring up the fact that Australia and Belgium are both using contestants from reality shows as well. And it doesn't bother me that these reality show competitors or winners compete in Eurovision. If they're good, they bring in a quality song, why not? I love the lyrics to the song also. It's not just a generic pop song to me. It's about letting your guard down after a long time of being guarded and how you can hold in your feelings for so long and just letting it go and really showing your love and how you feel, opening yourself up, becoming vulnerable. This song really speaks to me. I've been there and it's hard to open up sometimes. As far as the bad goes, if there's anything bad to say about the song, if I'm being truly fair and honest, it would be maybe the lyrics other than the chorus are not as memorable. For me, I guess this may be the song's only weakness, but the chorus is pop in your face. You will not forget that. My reaction? Denmark will have no problem qualifying for the finals. I guarantee this. Right now, March 13th, 2017, at 6.39 p.m., I'm calling it. There's no way this song will not qualify. This song gave me goosebumps all throughout, and it's one of the only songs in this year's contest to do that. That is my body's natural standing ovation, or an indicator of when I really love or am feeling a song. And I love this song. I cannot emphasize this enough. So now on to the rating. I'm giving this a 4 out of 4 stars. I'm giving it a masterpiece rating. I love the lyrics, but that voice, there is no substitution for the way a song can make you feel. And this song makes me feel alive. And it, to me, is one of the best songs of the year. I don't give out a lot of four-star ratings. This will only be my second so far. And I've listened to many of the other songs. There's going to be a lot of threes, a lot of 3.5s to come. But I don't really see any more four, fours on the horizon. So I'm saying Denmark and Italy are in rare company. So is this song a contender or a pretender? The song is a contender for sure. It sounds like a winner. It just has that feel to it that it should be one of the top spots. 
So maybe it'll win, maybe it won't, but it definitely has the energy, the staging, and the huge voice behind it. The biggest question is, will it win the hearts of the televoters? I don't know the answer to that, but it has won my heart. Denmark has not been one of my favorite entries the past two years. Though I liked their voices last year, Lighthouse 10's Soldier of Love felt more like a church sermon on a long Sunday than a song I wanted to listen to at a concert. And Antisocial Media's The Way You Are in 2015, if I recall, was at in my bottom five. This year, Denmark will be strongly in my top five. I love this song. I love Anya's voice. The staging is amazing. I don't usually pay attention to the staging. It's usually, I look at the song, I look at the lyrics, but the staging is so noticeably incredible on this that it's just the complete and total package to me for what Eurovision is about. Denmark and Finland are my favorite Scandinavian entries this year. I'll get to Finland very soon. With France changing their song to become almost unrecognizable, the number two spot on my list is open after Italy, who's my number one. Denmark, take a seat. You're my number two. You have an incredible song this year, and I will root and root and root for Denmark this year. Thank you for listening to my review on Denmark at Eurovision 2017. I will be just continuing to plow through these reviews and release a top 42 or 43, depending on if I get these done before Armenia's entry on March 18th. Please like, subscribe, or comment below your feelings on any of these songs. I like hearing back from you. So. Lethargic Sloth, out.